It's a Mint in the Box unboxing video. Oh look, Clive's bought himself a cheap shitty light meter off eBay. You're damn right I have. So off goes the box. And here's the light meter. The light meter has a little cover over the actual light sensing um, diffuser thing, which is incredibly irritating to get off. It's really not easy to get off, but there it is. And um, it's got three ranges. It's got uh, 2,000 lux, 20,000 lux, and 50,000 lux. There was another version of this that went up to 100,000 lux. I'm not sure what the difference really is, because when you actually when you turn it on, um, technically speaking, it could go up to 200,000 lux, but I'm guessing maybe just the light sensor that they've used it isn't as uh, efficient at that level. And the three settings, uh, that just displays the lux raw, as, as so to speak, um, so that's about 31 lux, my hand over it. The next setting multiplies the display by 10, and the next setting multiplies it by 100. So I thought, what better way to test this right now than with these two 20 watt light fittings up here, because one of them has a 50 watt LED in it and one's got the 20 watt. Now, you recall that uh, they both use these sort of chips and as you'll see here, this has two rows of 10 one watt LED chips. However, this light fitting up here has uh, <coughs> the 50 watt version. Now, it's a 20 watt driver. It's got the 50 watt version with five rows of these chips and I reckon that's going to make that chip run a lot cooler and I'm just wondering if it's going to make it more efficient as well. So putting this to its least sensitive setting because um, the light levels are, you know, they're quite high from these lights, I'm going to unplug one of them at random. Now, the one that is now left lit is 20 watt light. It's got uh, the 20 LEDs in it and was drawing 20.7 watts. So let's feel about here. Let's fumble about for the sweet spot of brightness. Now can I? No, I don't think I'd be able to. Oh actually I can. Uh, I can uh, use it at the next setting down. So that's going down. That's going down. So the maximum I'm getting, the peak I've got from that is about 278. So 2,780 lux. I've got a notepad here. 2,780 lux. So now I'm going to swap the lights over. I'm going to turn that one, other one back on. And this is the one with the 50 LEDs in it, but still driving at 20 watts, though it's 19.3 watts. It's slightly lower. So here's the meter, and I'm just going to fumble about for the brightest peak I get in this. Three hundred and twenty-three is the brightest I'm getting from that. That's actually 3,230. So that's 3,230. And as you can see already, um, the output from this one is noticeably higher than from the, the typical, just the 20 LED version. So if we calculate it out, if we get the calculator and we do roughly, we work out how many lux we're getting per watt. So that's... Uh, 2,780 lux divided by 20.7 watts equals 134 lux per watt. And this one is going to be 3,230 lux divided by 19.3 equals 167 lux per watt. So, I don't know if it's down to the efficiency of the LED, uh, the quality of the LED, or if it's just underrunning these LEDs um, makes them much more efficient 
Uh, I think there's a good chance that because I've always um, tended to underrun LEDs myself and do, even when you run them down just about half their rated current, they do put out tons of light. So there's a very good chance that replacing the 20 watt LED in a, in a 20 watt LED floodlight with a 50 watt or even 100 watt LED, you're not just spreading the dissipation and just making life so much easier for those LEDs, but you're actually going to get more light out of it. That's quite a good result.